Howdy everyone, welcome to Pilates. My name is Jordan. Today's class is going to be a 30 minute class including a warm up, a workout portion, and the cool down with some stretches. Today we are going to be using a mat, or if you don't have a mat, a towel will work just fine. Um, if you want, you can stack up two towels, one right on top of the other to make a little bit of cushion, just to provide a little extra comfort for the workout today because we will be spending most of our time on our mats. If you do want to also grab a water, you can place it a little bit away from your mat so that you don't knock it over as we're going through the exercises today. And a couple of announcements. We will be doing these workouts once a week and you can visit our website to check them out and making sure that we're just feeling our body and moving with our within our limits today. So whenever you're ready, you can join me in a standing position making sure that you have enough room. You can maybe circle your arms around you. Maybe if you start to hit a coffee table, then you might need to find a different place to do this workout today. So we're gonna plant our feet into our mats, maybe about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna work on some breathing here. We're gonna inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouth. Nice big inhale and exhale. Slowly starting to find ourselves today. Feeling our body. Seeing how we're feeling today. You can go ahead and place one hand on the stomach and one hand on your chest. And close your eyes on the next exhale. And then once you've gone through a few cycles of breathing, I want you to try and focus on inhaling and expanding that rib cage out to the sides and then exhaling, letting it all go. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, letting it relax. Making sure that our shoulders are relaxed here. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and find a position at the end of your mat, facing the front or the top of your mat. We're going to inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, bending over into our forward fold. Knees don't have to be completely straight here. You can have a slight bend or you can straighten them out to deepen the stretch. Finding our breath again. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to walk our hands out into a plank position. Getting our core warmed up just a little bit here. Inhale. Exhale, sending the hips back and up towards the ceiling into our downward dog. Here we're just stretching out our hamstrings and our calf muscles. Go ahead and start to walk your dog out by pressing one heel down into the mat, alternating pressing the other heel down. And go ahead and hold that position. We're going to come down onto our mats into a tabletop. Here we have our shoulders directly above our wrists and our hips are right above those knees. So here's what we don't want to do. We want to try and keep those hands right underneath those shoulders. And here we're going to inhale, drop the hips, lift the head. Exhale, tucking the hips under, pressing our shoulder blades apart. Here we're just getting a little bit of movement into our spine. And 
now we're going to open up those knees, bringing our toes together, stretching out those hands out in front of you, and resting down. This is going to be our rest pose, and it is a safe pose to assume at any point during the workout today. Just using it to center your breathing, and then joining back in whenever you feel ready. And we're going to lift it back up, turning over onto our backs now. Go ahead and keep your feet planted into the mat. We're rolling back. Our feet, our heels are pretty close to our glutes here, not way out towards the end of the mat. Bringing them in close, about shoulder width apart still. Our, our palms are pressing down into our mat as well. From here, we're just going to keep focusing on that breathing. Inhale. Exhale, pressing that low back into the ground. And then on the next inhale, you will just relax. Exhale, pushing that air out, pressing the low back into our mats. So here we'll start to feel our abdominals engage. And if you blow out a little more forcefully, then you'll start to really feel your abdominals engage. We want to try and keep this position throughout our exercises today, helping to keep our spine in alignment. Let's do two more. All right, last bit of the warm up here, just to move our hips a little bit more. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, lifting one leg up into a march position. Inhale down, exhale, lifting the other leg up. So going through this at our own pace, Just bringing our leg up, keeping it bent. And then when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, bringing both legs up. So here we have our toes pointed. We're making a 90 degree angle with our legs here. Now we're going to begin our workout with some toe taps. So you're just going to inhale, prepare, exhale, send one foot down and out towards the bottom of your mat. Inhale, exhale, sending the other foot down and out. So again, like we practiced our pelvic tilts in the beginning, you wanna try and keep that low back or our pelvis Press down into the mat. You may start to feel this in the lower abdominal muscles, contracting as you lower the leg down and bring it back up. Another option here, if you want to add a little bit of a challenge, is to send both legs down at the same time and then lift them up. So same breathing, exhaling on the down, inhaling whenever you're back in this up position. Again, finding whatever option works best for you. One more on each leg. All right, go ahead and lower both legs down. Our feet are planting into the mat. Next thing we have is going to be our flutter kicks. So we're going to straighten those legs out onto our mat. Inhale, exhale, we'll lift the legs up. And we're just going to flutter. Nice baby kicks here. You can bring those feet up higher. That will help alleviate any stress on our low back 
and lower down as you feel ready. Still finding our breath here. This one's a little bit more challenging, but let's stick with it. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower back down. We're gonna do that one more time here. Again, lifting our legs up a little bit higher will be make that a little bit better for our lower back. Go ahead and inhale, prepare. Exhale, lifting those legs up, starting up high, and then lowering down if you feel like that's good for your body today. Can you kick those feet a little bit faster? For four, three, two, and one. Lower down. All right. Next thing that we have is going to target our upper and our full abdominal muscles. These are our hundreds. So go ahead and lift both the feet up off the ground again, keeping that 90 degree bend at our knees. Inhale. Exhale, lift those shoulders up off of your mat, palms facing the mat, but hovering right above it. We're going to pulse those hands. So you're going to inhale for five, exhale for five. It'll sound something like this. And if you'd like, another option to add here is straightening out those legs, pointing those toes up high. Also, you can still keep that bend here. And if you do need a little bit of a break, you can lower the head down and then join us back up to the top whenever you feel ready. Remembering that Pilates is an endurance type class, so holding this position for a little bit longer. Four, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower down, grabbing underneath those knees here, stretching out that spine, taking a break just a little bit, and lower down, bringing those feet straight here our legs straight. We're going to bring our hands up overhead, straightening out those arms. From here, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, tucking the chin, lifting the head, and then peeling our spine up off of the mat. These are our roll-ups. Go ahead and keep your feet flexed as you do these. Inhale, exhale, we will lower back down. Inhale, exhale, tuck the chin, lift up, peeling that spine. And when we come up, making sure that we have a nice tall back, like a string is pulling us up towards our ceiling. Lifting up, nice tall spine, lowering down. Let's do one more, inhale. Exhale, tucking the chin, lifting up, and we're at the top. So from here, we're just going to bend our knees, and we're going to do our teasers. So you can have those feet flat for now. I want you to inhale, elongate that spine. Exhale, keeping those hands behind our knees for a little extra support. Lower down, hands are up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up, reaching behind those legs. Again, for a little extra support. Lengthen that spine and lower down. So this is our first option for our teasers. Our second option here, when we're at the top, you have one leg straight and lower down. The other leg still stays bent. Inhale, exhale, lifting up. And then when you reach the top, that's when you switch legs and lower down. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Nice tall spine, switch, 
lower down. You're still welcome to do our first option here. Reaching behind those legs, elongate the spine, lower down. Making sure that we're articulating the spine. When you peel it off your mat, peeling it off one vertebrae at a time. Let's do one more. Tall. From here, we're going to plant those feet again and move it into our oblique twists. So you want to have a nice tall back here and lean back just a little bit. And you can keep your hands clasped together and we're just going to rotate from one side to the other. Twisting right here in our torso, not necessarily reaching with our elbows. You may start to feel this in your hip flexors or in your abdominals as well. If you'd like to add a little more challenge here, you can lean back into it. For four, three, two, and one. All right, we've made it through both our lying down on our back and in our sitting positions. From here, we will move it onto our stomachs. Working on our back here. So you can keep those hands, palms pressing down to our mat, close to our rib cage. So not out in front, but right down here by our ribs. We're gonna take a big inhale in. Exhale, lifting up our upper body so our feet stay planted into our mat. Our arms are just here for assistance, but most of the work is being done with our upper back to help make sure that our spine stays in alignment here. Go ahead and look down towards your mat or your towel. Instead of looking up with our head, again, just making sure that we're keeping our gaze down towards the mat. And maybe start to make that back extension a little bit higher each time. And then when you're ready, placing those hands back off of your mat, lifting up and lowering down. Now we're going to add in another component, lifting up our upper body and our legs at the same time. For four, three, two, and one. Transitioning into our leg kicks. You can keep those hands down here by our rib cage for support, but we're going to flex our foot, bring it towards our glutes, point it, back down. Switch legs, flex, bring it to our glutes, point, back down. So again, you can move slowly through this exercise, And we're going to pulse it two times. Pulse, pulse, back down. Pulse, pulse, back down. 
So, speeding it up here. Pulse, pulse. So you'll inhale two, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. As you do these, try and keep your quads lifted up off of your mat. You'll start to feel it in your hamstrings, your glutes, and maybe a little bit in your lower back. And now we're going to bring both legs together and down. Pulse it for three this time and lower down. Inhale, two, three, down. Making sure we're squeezing our glutes, squeezing our hamstrings as we pull it towards our glutes. Let's do two more. Great work. Let's go up and down to our rest pose. Centering our breathing. And now we're going to go into our plank series. If at any time it feels too much for your wrists, you're welcome to find fists. So making sure that our, our hands are balled up and then pressing it down into the mat. That can help alleviate any pain in the wrists or finding a position on your forearms. I'm gonna be doing it on my palms though. So here we can find our plank on our toes or on our knees. If we have a plank on our knees, just making sure that our body is still in a line here. So our booties are not up in the air, but lower down as if you were to still do the plank up on the toes, just lowering down. So our first thing that we've got for our planks today is going to be our crisscross, reaching one knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, exhale, reaching to the other side. It's okay if you can't quite reach the other elbow. Let's go for eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Hold that plank. If you do need a little bit of break, try resting down on your knees, still maintaining our plank here. Next thing we have is we're going to reach same knee to the same elbow. So again, Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Lifting up our toes, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale. Here we've got a little bit of work for our shoulders, as you may have found out, as well as for our core. Two more on each side. And lower down and back into our rest pose again. Great work with those planks. Next, we have our side lying series. So, either on your mat or on your towel, I want you to find a straight line along the back of your mat or towel. And then I want you to line your whole body up with the back of your mat. You're still on your mat, but just right on the back of it. And line up your body. Once you've found that your head to your toes is lined up with the back of your mat, go ahead and lift your feet and bring them pointing to the front corner of your towel or your mat. You can have your hand 
up here, resting your head on your hand, or I'm going to lay down on my arm, just because that feels most comfortable for me. Having our hips stacked up, also very important for these exercises. So here we're going to hover that top leg and really reach out with the top leg, sending it further than your bottom leg. And you're just going to lift up, lower down, keeping that toe pointed. Our top arm can be rested on our mat for a little extra support right here. Keeping our hips from rotating outwards when we lift that leg up. Here we are working our outer hips. It's not necessarily about how high you get that leg, but if you can start to feel it here on the outside of your top hip, that's what I want. And from here, we're going to switch it into some rainbows. So you're gonna bring that top leg to the front of your bottom leg, up and back behind your bottom leg. So these are like a rainbow, just an arch motion, front and back. This requires a little extra stability, so take your time with this exercise. If you start to feel your leg wobbling a little bit, that is perfectly okay. That just means your muscles are working extra hard today to help stabilize your body. You can even make that rainbow a little baby rainbow. You're just reaching over the top of the foot. Do four more for me. And we're going back up and down for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg up into the front, bending it, and gently massaging that outer hip here. All right, next thing we have, planting that same foot down onto the mat. This is where it's important to make sure that we have no socks on unless they have the grips on the bottom of the socks. We're going to point or flex our bottom foot now, the one that we were not using, and we're going to flex it up and down. Lift and lower, making sure our hips still stay stacked here. So we're working the inner thigh of our bottom leg now. Lifting it as high as you can and controlling it on the way down. Do eight more. Six. Four. Three, two, and one. Great work. That's all for this side. We're going to press up the back arm, our top arm, rotating to the other side of our mat. Go ahead and line your body up just like we did on the other side. And once you've gotten it all straightened out, bring those toes up towards the front of your mat, stacking your hips. Go ahead and point that top leg, send the top toes out a little bit further than your bottom ones and kick up and down, up, down. Again, con con controlling this movement. We're almost done with our workout. This is the last thing that we will be doing on the other side of our body. And then we'll go into our cool down and our stretches.
and going into our rainbows, bringing it to the front and the back. Left, front, back. Just making a little rainbow over our bottom foot here. If you feel like your top leg is already a little bit tired, that's because whenever we do these exercises on our side, our top leg is definitely doing a lot of work, but our bottom leg is having to stabilize our body. So that's why you may feel that it's a little bit more challenging on this side. And back to those kicks, last round of kicks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it to the front, giving a little massage here for that hip. Gentle and planting that foot onto our mat in front of our bottom knee. We're going to flex the bottom foot, lift up and down last exercise today let's finish strong how high can you reach that leg on the bottom squeezing those inner thighs controlling the movement up and down eight seven six Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. We're going to roll over onto our stomach, bringing it to our knees and our hands, cooling it down with some cat cows. Just like in our stretches, you inhale, drop the hips, lift the head, exhale, tuck the hips, and stretch the shoulder blades. Pulling our body down, getting a little bit of a stretch. And opening up those knees, pointing the toes together into our rest pose. And coming up into a cobra. So you're on your stomach, and then you press up gently with those palms, lifting your head up. If you want to decrease the stretch, you can bring the palms out more in front of you, or again, intensifying the stretch, bringing them closer to your torso. Here you still want to make sure that your shoulder blades or your shoulders are staying away from your ears. And coming up and back into our rest pose. From here, we'll come up onto our knees into a tall kneeling position. Bring your, one of your legs up in front we're going to tuck our hips under and lean into this, getting a ham, not a hamstring, a hip flexor stretch. And straightening out the front leg, reaching down, getting our hamstring stretch now. Let's come back to our tall kneeling, switching our legs, and tucking the hips, leaning into it, getting that stretch right here on the hip flexors, on the opposite side now. And straightening out that front leg, reaching down towards our mat with our fingertips or our palms. Making sure that 
leg, that foot stays flexed up towards the ceiling. And bringing it back in. Find a seated position. We have a couple more stretches here. Crossing one leg over the other leg. This is going to stre really stretch those outer hips that we just worked with our sideline series. Calming our breathing down a little bit more as we end the workout. Switch legs. And planting both feet into the mat. We're going to find a standing position. Nice and slowly, bringing it all the way up. We're going to take our one of our arms and bring it across our chest to get our last stretch of the day, stretching out those shoulders from our planks that we did earlier. 